and today we are going to understand sequence control trainer with PLC. The kit we are using has order code 46623G. The kit we are using has two parts. Part 1 is comprises of all the electronic components and part 2 is comprises of PLC and HMI. So let's move on to the kit. Part 1 of this kit is comprises of ELCB, 3 contactors, 5 AC relays, 2 proximity sensors, 5 lamps, 2 buzzers, 3 phase AC motor star delta connection, selector switch, toggle switches, 3 fuses of 5 ampere, 1 flicker relay, 2 overload relay and 1 timer. Also we have emergency stop switch button and 2 NC and 2 NO switches. For the better understanding of this kit, in starting we are only doing minor experiments. After the minors, we are heading towards the experiments. In first, we are going to switch on any device by NO push button. Start the connection. First, connect R to NO of an NO to the lamp and neutral of lamp to the neutral of supply. Now turn on the supply and switch so you can see whenever I am pushing the NO switch the lamp is glowing it means it is a NO switch so this is the first and let's move on to the second to turn on the device with NC switch to turn on the device with NC switch first connect R of the supply to NC switch and NC switch second port to the lamp and negative of the lamp to the neutral of the supply. Let's start the supply and you can see the lamp is already glowing. If I press the NC button then it stops glowing. This is the end of second and let's move on to the third. To switch any device on with NO and NC push switch button. In this, we are using NC and NO switch both together. So for this experiment, connect R to NC switch first and second R to NO switch. Now take output from NC switch to lamp 1 and from NO to lamp 2. Now short. L1 and L2 neutral and give it supply light. Now turn on the supply. So you can see in NC the lamp is glowing and in NO the lamp is not glowing. If I push NO switch the lamp is glowing and if I push NC the lamp is not glowing. So we have successfully completed three parts of this kit. Now let's move on to the fourth part whose aim is to turn on contactor. Let's move on to the fourth part procedure or we can say wiring. So connect R terminal to contactor 1 terminal and short terminal 1 and terminal 2 of contactor. Now connect second terminal to lamp. In this we are using two switch buttons one is PBS1 and PBS3. Now connect terminal 1 to coil and coil to push button NC. Now connect second terminal of NC to neutral. Now connect R terminal to NO switch and NO switch second terminal to coin. And the final step with this we have completed our wiring of part 4. Now let's move on to the kit and on the kit. So whenever I am pushing this LO switch, the contactor is on. 
when I am pushing the red button, the conductor is off. So with this, we have completed our fourth part. Now let's move on to the fifth part. So the part fifth is all about to turn on the relay. Connect R terminal to P terminal of the relay. Now connect R terminal to PBS3 and PBS3 second terminal to the coil of relay. Now connect second point of coil to PBS2 and now PBS2 to neutral. Now from relay NC connect to lamp 1 and NO connect lamp 2. Now in last connect NO of relay to the coil. So we have completed our connections. Now let's move on to the kit. When I am pushing this NO switch, the relay is turned on. And if I push this NC button, the relay is turned off. So here we complete our this part. Now let's move on to next part whose objective is to turn on overload relay. Procedure to on overload relay is Step 1. Firstly connect RYB of supply to RYB of overload relay. Step 2. Now take R terminal and give it to the NO of the overload relay and short the NO and NC point of overload relay. Step 3. Now we have to take two loads L1 and L2. Connect L1 terminal 1 to L2 terminal 1 and L1 terminal 2 to NC of overload relay and L2 terminal 2 to NO of overload relay. So here we complete our wiring. Now let's move on to the kit to on it. So when I am clicking the trip switch on relay, the lamp turns off. So here we end our this part. With this, now let's move on to our experiment number 1.1 whose objective is DOL starter means direct online starter. In DOL starter we first see power wiring of DOL starter. Let's move on to the procedure. Step 1. Take RYB from supply and give it to the contactor. Step 2. From contactor output give the supply to overload relay. And finally, from overload relay, give the supply to three phase motor. So, this time we are not using the motor, but you can.
these three are the output of input of motor so here we complete our power circuit of DOL start now move on to the control circuit now the procedure of control circuit is as follows step 1 take R phase from supply and give it to the old load relay from old load relay to NC push button and from NC push button to NO push button Now again NO second to coil and coil to neutral. Now for holding we have to give connection to auxiliary coil from NO switch. So let's move on to the kit and turn it on. When I am push this green button, the contactor is on. It means the motor is also on. Whenever I am pushing this red button, the contactor, contactor is off. It means the motor is also off. So here we complete our experiment 1.1. Now heading towards our experiment 1.2 whose objective is DOL starter with PLC. So this is the second part of our kit. In this kit we have one PLC of delta and one HMI it is also of delta. PLC A programmable logic controller or programmable controller is an industrial computer that has been adapted for a control of manufacturing process such as assembly lines machines, robotic devices or any activity that requires high reliability, ease of programming and process fault diagnosis. So let's move on to the experiment process of DUL starter with PLC. In this experiment the power circuit is same as normal DUL starter. The only change is we are using PLC for control circuit for this experiment. Now firstly we are doing the power circuit of DUL starter. So now connect. Three phase supply to the contact. After this, give supply to OLR, old rotary from contactor. So we have connected overload relay to the circuit. Now connect motor to through overload relay. So after connecting the motor, we have completed our power circuit of DUL starter with PLC. Now we have to upload code in PLC and keep it ready for the experiment. So we have successfully uploaded the code in PLC. Now move on to control circuit of dual starter with PLC. So let's move on to the procedure. First of all connect 24 volt DC supply to NO switch or start switch and X0 to second point of start switch. Now connect 24 volt DC supply to stop switch or NC switch and X1 to second point of NC switch. In this we are adding emergency switch for safety purpose. We are also giving it, it a 24 volt DC supply and X2 point to the second point of emergency switch. Now we are giving 24 volt DC supply to NC of overload relay and connecting X3 point to second point of overload relay NC. In PLC panel we have to short 0 VDC point to S plus S point. Now connect contactor coil to Y0 and 
C naught with R phase and connect second point of coil of contactor to neutral of phase. We have completed our circuitry for this experiment. Now let's move on to the kit and turn it on. Firstly, we on our PLC box and second this. Whenever I am pushing this NO switch, the contactor is on. And after this, I am pushing NC button, the contactor is off. In this, we have also given an emergency switch button. So, to set up communication between PLC and HMI, we use cable. You can see the whole process of, of dual starter on this LED screen. Like that. When I am pushing green button, then you can see the motor is on. When I am pushing this red button, then you can see the motor is off. Whenever I will push this emergency switch, the indication is also there. You can see that. And the trip signal is also there. You can see that. So now here we complete our experiment 1.2 whose objective is DOL starter with PLC. So now move on to our next experiment, experiment 2.1 whose objective is Star Delta Starter Star Delta Starter are probably the most common reduced voltage starters. They are used in an attempt to reduce the starting current applied to the motor during start as means of reducing the disturbances and interference on the electrical supply. So now let's move on to the procedure of Star Delta Starter. Step 1. Connect the three phase power supply to overload relay and the overload relay to main contactor. Then secondary of main contactor to the motor. These three outputs are given to motor. For time being, we are not giving the output to motor. Step 2. Now take output from overload relay and give it to the delta contactor and secondary of delta to the motor. At that time we are not connecting the motor. Now take output from the delta secondary and give it to the secondary of star contactor and short the primary terminal of star contactor. So now the power circuitry of delta starter is completed. Now move on to control circuitry. Now for control circuit step 1. Connect one phase to overload relay. And from NC to emergency switch button. From second point of emergency switch button to NC. And from NC second point to N. 
and from NO switch to coil of main contactor and second coil to neutral. Now from start push button to A1 terminal of timer and A2 terminal to neutral. Now connect A1 to common of timer and from NO NC of delta from NC of delta to star coil and from neutral to neutral now from NC of timer to NC of star and second, second point of NC of star to coil of delta and then second point of delta coil to neutral now for holding the main contactor we have to take holding from NO switch So we have completed our circuitry for this experiment. Now let's move on to turn it on. So you can see that after pushing this green button, the main contactor and star contactor are on. And after 5 to 10 seconds, the star con uh, contactor is off and delta and main contactor on on with this we are concluding our experiment 2.1 star delta starter now move on to our next experiment experiment number 2.2 whose objective is star delta starter with plc power circuit of experiment 2.2 is same as experiment 2.1 so we are directly heading towards the control circuit with help of PLC. So the code is successfully uploaded in the PLC. And we have also connected the cable between PLC and HMI to establish the communication between PLC and HMI. Now let's get back to the kit and start the control circuitry. We have done all the connections successfully for this experiment. Now let's move on to the panel and turn it on. You can see that whenever I am pushing this green button, the main contactor and star contactor are turned on. And after 10 seconds, the star contactor turns off and delta connect, uh, contactor turns on. So we have seen the working of star delta starter on panel. Now let's see the working of star delta starter on HMI LCD display. So whenever I push an O switch, the main contactor and star contactor turns on and after 10 seconds the delta contactor is on and star contactor turns off like that and whenever I push trip button on relay the trip signal is on the display so we have completed our experiment 2.2 whose objective is star delta starter with PLC now heading towards our experiment number 3 whose objective is to use proximity sensor with help of PLC. In this experiment, we are applying a logic of conveyor belt. For this, we are using two proximity sensors, five lamps, L1, L2, L3, L4 and L5 and one buzzer. First proximity sensor we are using for detection of product pass through it. In this, we have take 5 product indicated by the lamps L1, L2, L3, L4 and L5. Pass the sensor, the lamp 1 is on and process follows till the lamp 5. After lamp 5 turns on, the buzzer hits and it means the packing of product is started. And when we give signal to proximity 2, 
Then the second conveyor started and hence the process is completed. So this is our logic for using proximity sensor. So let's see on the panel. Now let's move on to the procedure. Step 1. Connect C0 and C1 to the phase on the panel. Now connect plus 24 volt DC to S less S on PLC panel. Now connect plus 24 volt to positive of proximity 1 and proximity 2. And now connect plus 0 volt DC to negative of proximity 1 and proximity 2. Now move on to next step. Output of proximity 1 is on X0 and output of proximity 2 to X1. Now connect lamps to point Y0, Y1, Y2, Y3 and Y4. And finally connect Y5 to buzzer. And now take common from neutral of all the lamps and buzzer and give it to neutral. Now we have completed our all the connections on the panel and PLC. So let's move on to the panel and turn it on. So, th so this is the whole procedure of this experiment. With this we conclude our experiment 3. So this is the full description of sequence control trainer kit with PLC. If you have any doubt, please contact Tesla Technologies Private Limited. If you like the video, please like, share and subscribe.